Are your students struggling with writing a scientific explanation using the claim evidence reasoning format? No worries. Today, I'm going to take you through how to easily help your students write a scientific explanation using the claim evidence reasoning format. And I have seven steps that will help them in that process. Hi, I'm Christy. I'm a middle school science teacher with over 20 years experience in the classroom, and I love helping other teachers empower their students, teaching them skills of success. Now, if you find this video was helpful, please go ahead and share it with your other teacher friends. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. So that way you're aware of other videos just like this that are coming out to you. Okay, let's go and get started. When writing a scientific explanation, the first step that you'll want your students to be able to do is to identify the question. Now, once they've identified the question, you'll want to take them through the information. They're going to be looking at all the information they're given. They need to be looking at the paragraph. If they're given a paragraph about what was done or what the study is about, they need to look at the data tables. If there's a data table given, look at the graphs, look at the diagrams. So they're going to be looking for all these observations. And then what you'll want them to do is to go ahead and record their observations or evidence that they're seeing and what that evidence means. So I usually like to have my students do use a graphic organizer for this. And on one side, they can write down the evidence they're seeing. And on the other side, they can write down their reasonings. Now, once they've gone over the experiment or the study, they can then go ahead and look at what they've written down for their evidence and their reasoning, go back to the question, and then come up with their claim. Now, it's important that that claim does include keywords or phrases from the question. So if the question was, did a chemical reaction occur? They would want to use those words chemical reaction in their claim. After they've written their claim, have them go back and look at their graphic organizer where they wrote down their evidence, and they're going to use that evidence to support their claim. They're going to write down the actual numbers that came in the data table, the actual observations from the data table, what the graph was really saying and showing, or what the diagram was showing. From there, they're going to write their reasoning, and that's where they use the other side of the graphic organizer, where they write down what does that evidence mean? Why is that evidence important? And how does that evidence support the claim? In step six, they're putting it all together into one paragraph. So you usually have my students, they're going to write it separately into each part, write each chunk, and then they're going to put everything together into one paragraph and then I have them actually read through the paragraph to see if it flows. Finally, step seven. This is where they're going to use a self-help checklist to see do they have all the parts of this claim evidence reasoning? Does it have, is there any grammar mistakes? Are there any spelling mistakes? How does it flow? Should they rearrange how things are written? So they're going to go through and they're going to check off to make sure that their claim actually does include the key words from the actual question, that their evidence includes what is actually in the data table, the actual numbers that are being given, if there are any, or what the graph is showing using numbers from the graph. And then also their reasoning, making sure that their reasoning actually does link the evidence to the claim. And again, looking for any grammar or spelling errors. So those are the seven steps to help your students write a claim evidence reasoning. For more claim and evidence reasoning practice examples like the one you saw in this video, go ahead and check out the description where I have a link to not only this claim evidence reasoning practice, but other practices as well. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos.
For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.